Jersey is the most important cultural institution we have in this country after Boy Better Know, but the problem is, is that it has slipped from those lofty standards to which we hold it. So instead of being an impartial broadcaster, holding all politicians to account and giving them an equally hard time, their journalists have been put in a position where they have traded integrity for access to number 10. So an interviewer like Andrew Neil can't nail down Boris Johnson for an interview, but others who are, shall we say, a little bit more amenable get all the access they want. And the absolute pit of this election was seeing multiple blue tick, well paid journalists sharing fake news. The fake news that a Labour activist who was one amongst a hundred paid activists at Leeds General Infirmary had punched Matt Hancock's spad in the head. Once footage emerged, it transpires that there weren't a hundred activists, none of them were paid to be there, and there was no punch. Why is that boy sleeping on the floor? These people the have devastated our country! Disgusting! I point my hand and you walk into it. it. If we can't trust our journalists to tell the basic truth, to wait for evidence, to seek out what's gone on, to verify events, then what are they there for? It costs a lot of money to look this cheap and Double Down News needs your dosh. You're not going to be able to create a new political reality without having a dramatically changed media ecology. And Double Down News is part of that. Go to their Patreon, fund them. They need your Josh, give it. All right, first gate, 20 seconds. What happened was is that Boris Johnson is so scared of being questioned by Susanna Reid that he went and hid in a fridge. So just like the ending of Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull, he got in the fridge to avoid the nuke of press accountability. This is the man who's supposed to stand up for this country in front of Donald Trump when he wants the NHS. Stand up to President Putin, President Xi. But he can't handle a little light morning telly.